we've been waiting for it, haven't we, all year? Just you know, scoring them points and, and putting his foot on the throat on the team. And we talked about having a big start because I thought last week we, you know, we probably left ourselves too much to do and we didn't want to do that again, especially with knowing how dangerous Salford are if you do let him play with the ball. So just really. Really pleased that we stuck to plan. Um, you know, I thought one seventeen, everyone showed up and and done the job. Um, you know, we've got the results going our way. So, uh, you know, same as always, we've, we've closed that gap, but we've still got some work to do. So, uh, we'll dust ourselves down this weekend, and then we'll get refocused Monday morning, ready to um, you know attack Wigan on Friday night. It's probably a game where you show sort of dominance and, and that ruthlessness we've not seen all season. Yeah. How, how pleasing was, was that aspect that, you know, I think early on that game especially, he seems to be scoring off the playoff? Uh, we've been working hard and I'm just pleased for, you know, for the lads that are finally getting some reward from it. You know, I sounded like a broken record, didn't I, halfway through the year saying, you know, it's been, it's been coming in training. But listen, we're not going to get carried away with yourself. We, we know we've, we've got some work to do. Um, I thought it was an excellent performance, but our challenge now is making sure we back up. You know, a solid performance with another solid performance. Um, so yeah, we'll enjoy this weekend. You know, in terms of um, you know getting yourself fresh and, and things, and, and we haven't got, we're not worrying about you know results not going our way and things like that. But um, you know, come Monday morning, we'll get ourselves refocused, ready for that uh, weekend challenge, and that's all we can do at the moment. Just take it a week at a time. But yeah, really pleased that. Um, you know, we start to show what we are capable of doing when, you know, when we turn up. Is that the sort of perfect match of um, effort and quality you've been, been asking for us? Yeah, I thought, I thought Luke Gale did a cracking job too in directing as well. And it's probably something that, um, you know, we've been crying out for is just that traditional scrum half, you know, that can just, just free other players up to play. You know, I thought he did a really good job in, in allowing Max and Dags to play their natural games and you know, credit credit there, but as I said, I thought one seventeen everyone everyone showed up for us. Middle middles were really physical, uh, dominated their outside backs, you know, because they're they're a dangerous team so often, especially if you start letting them get them half breaks. But I'm really pleased we as the scrambled here as well. You know, it wasn't perfect, you know, they did break us as we knew they would, but you know, we did challenge each other just to make sure that we didn't use that as an excuse to, to cough up four to six points and they found a way to deal with it you know there were a couple of times Max came up with some some excellent cover tackles and um, you know there were a couple of lads playing with with bruised bodies Liam Hub nearly got ruled out this morning uh, that's why we left him home for such big minutes that his hamstring tightened right up and his back um, Dave Fafita played with a, a bad back um, that's why we didn't put him back on so you know there's a few few lads that shown up and um, you know put a shift in for the mates today yeah, I, I think he's excellent for that. You know, he's I know he's 34, 35 now, but his, his mind still thinks exactly the same. So we've just got to be smart with Luke, um, you know, and manage him properly so that we can roll him out on a weekend. But he, he's still got the quality there, hasn't he, as he's shown tonight. So, yeah, real, real happy that we've got him on board. As you said, you can probably praise every single member of that squad, but you other individuals. Um, I think Reese Lane back in the side Yeah, well, absolutely. Um, he, he, he looks super good. Yeah, Reese is a quality player, you know. Let's not forget, he, he's played for England himself. And yeah, it's great to have players like that back end. Uh, I think Reese did over 20 carries, you know, and ran for 100 plus metres, so it shows you how much we've been missing him. But, um, yeah, as you said, I don't want to name one or two and, and forget someone I thought once 17, everyone showed up and, and did, the, did the job today for, for the team. And a great way to match it, Pitts is um, to move the field. I know you spoke quite yeah. a lot in the Yeah, yeah, outstanding. I think there were Josh Gordon last week for his 200th and, and Jay this week. Um, you know, an outstanding achievement for both of them to play 200 games um, at this level. Um, you know, hats off to them both, and I'm just glad that you know we've we've got a win, so they remember it for the right reasons. So it's finally for me. Uh, it's finally for me. Um, I know at times this year probably the bench for Barton Moss and else with those constant losses. Yeah. Um, how I know you're not getting heavy, but yeah. how much confidence will you as a group take from that team? I think it goes back to what I said earlier, just never get too high, never get too low, you've got to stay focused and 
you know, we're not going to get carried away with yourself. It feels good. Yeah, it feels nice. You know, no one likes losing, especially, you know, when you're in the middle of a, a losing streak like we were. But it's really important you stay level-headed, you know, you stay objective and you don't get too caught up in the emotion of it all. Um, you know, we're, we're just taking it a week at a time, as cliche as that sounds. You know, we'll move on to next week now. You know, we'll be confident in terms of, um, yeah, we're getting some bodies back and, you know, we're coming off back of the win, but we're not going to get reckless with our confidence because that's when you, you get burned. We need to start backing up, you know, victories and making sure that we can post, you know, wins for wins because that, that's a situation where we're at the moment. We're a desperate team and, and we're going to make sure we stay level-headed and, and focused. No problems. Obviously, a massive result for Wakefield, but do you yeah. think it puts pressure on Cass as well now? They've lost tonight and closes uh, the gap a bit. I don't know. I'm not worrying about Castle if I'm honest with you. Uh, I'm just worrying about about us at Wakefield Trinity. You know, we've still got a couple of wins. You know, and that's if they don't get another win. So we're just focusing on, you know, getting us them two wins. And and you know, if if we do get them and it gets to a situation where, um, you know, it is a bit more level playing field, that's when. You know, I suppose we can start talking about them questions and things like that. In terms of Luke Gale, Mark, yeah. how important would it be, not only for what he actually does on the field, but his, the influence he has on all the people around him, because he's just yeah. a great talker and organiser, isn't he? He's such a fantastic character. Yeah, he's, most scrum halves are gobby little buggers, are they? So he's definitely, um, yeah, he's a positive influence there. But, you know, Dave Fafita, him coming back over as well, he's been massive for, for that reason you've just said there. And, um, you know, there were a lot of talk this this uh, off season about how many bodies we did lose, and you know it's probably a good lesson for us as a club moving forward, just to make sure we don't you know lose that many leaders all at once because uh, we have been crying out for you know a Dave Feeter and a, a Luke Gale sort of voice, and I think it shows what sort of difference it makes on the field, doesn't it? I think that it's had two wins in three. It's had brought a lot of confidence into your voice going into that weekend. Yeah, as I said there, we it's important we stay level headed. You know, we we were pretty confident after last week, you know, for how we played for sixty minutes. We just knew we couldn't afford to, to gift a team of Salford's quality three, four tries and it'll be exactly the same next week. You know, we're gonna a quality outfit. They'll be um, they'll be up there at the end of the year competing for every major honour and um, you know, we'll focus on what we've done well, where we need to improve and then, you know, We'll, we'll give it everything we've got to to go out and get the result that we're all craving. Mark, do you regret not bringing Luke in early? I know there was talk in the off season that. I actually tried. I actually tried. I met him. Uh, I got the job, and I think about three days later, I met Luke. Um, and at the time, with how our budgets were, um, you know, and, and the salary demands at that time, it. It was more uh, a case uh, I didn't know if we could afford him, um, you know. And obviously, as the seasons panned out, um, we've got him. But yeah, he's a he's a player that I've admired from a distance for for many a year. Um, you know, an excellent international scrum half. You know, he's, he's obviously got the quality, and I I just thought it'd be great, you know, for Mason and and, and Max at the time, and now Dags. And you know, I think he's proven his worth. Um, not only what he does on the field, but you know. They're all coming into the peak years, and Gail is a great influence on them as well in terms of you know giving them a few pointers and a bit of leadership on how to become better better players themselves. So yeah, just real glad we've got them on board now, Mike. If I'm honest. Just just one other individual. Yes. Best game in Wakefield shirt tonight. You just seem to skill player, which is I've not seen him do that. I, I think at times, and it, it always gets magnified doesn't it when you're losing um, if you bring a player in from overseas sometimes it can take them a few months to adjust to the English game if they've been used to playing you know the Australian game and, uh, Rennie, Rennie's a, a great bloke and a great professional how he goes about his business is I really admire him a uh, real family man uh, ultimate professional and we always knew there were a performance in there I think he showed it in pre-season um, you know, and his confidence probably just got hit a bit with, like many of them, when we were losing, um, you know, week after week. I think Dave coming in has been a massive influence for him. I think him and Dave are, are building a nice partnership coming off that bench together. And I thought he were, I thought he were quality last week against KR. Um, you know, I'm really glad he's, he's backed it up this week too against Salford. So yeah, really pleased for Rennie. Really pleased. How do you go about fitting Mason Lee? How many days when once he's back fit? How many days? Oh, yeah. You just go off exactly what I said before with players coming back. You pick on performance and, you know, 
Mason's no different to any other. Yeah, he's an absolute quality individual, but um, what makes them quality is that they're humble enough to know that the shirts aren't just given to them. They'll, they'll work hard in training. So we'll pick on performance, you know, how they're playing on a, a weekend and how they're going training. And, um, you know, Mason's not far off of being fit now so uh, you know he'll be back in the mix and then it's up to the lads that have got the shirts to keep on playing well to keep them and you know obviously Mason to, to force one of them shirts off him which I'm sure he'll you know he'll, he'll understand and be straight after that challenge yeah. We saw a reason about Yeah just cramp just cramp he's come back from a torn calf so I think uh, I think he'd probably outrun himself so we decided I mean I think there were what 40 seconds left so we just played with 12 for the last 40 just to be safe, but he's just, just cramped. He's, uh, he's 30 years old now, as he'll tell me. So he's, uh, yeah, first game in what, six, seven weeks, I think it was. So he'll probably feel the effects a bit of that.